Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you my collection of MoYu nail stamping pleats. Now I'm going to call this video part one as I suspect that I will end up purchasing more of these. They've only just arrived today so this isn't a review video, I'm just going to show you each of the pleats, tell you why I picked them and hopefully give you some inspiration if you do want to order them. At a later stage I will do a review video and once I have done I will leave it linked below this video so with that in mind if you're not sure what stamping plates are I am going to leave a link to an old how to use Conad video Conad is a similar system just so you can get an idea of how to use this type of plate so I'll get on with the video each plate comes in this little cardboard sleeve it's got the details of how to use it on the back and then it's just got a little tab that you just pull out the actual image plate. Now the majority of the ones that I purchased is from the Pro collection. The reason for this is because I wanted the larger size image. Now I noticed that some of them have got as much as 18 different designs on one plate but they are smaller designs and I wanted to get the larger ones. So the ones that I looked for specifically are the ones that have got 12 images on each plate but for some reason I've managed to end up buying some of the little ones as well. Anyway, I'll get on with it and I'll start off with the first plate. The first plate is Pro Collection 07. Unfortunately, this is the one that has got the smaller images on it. Now, its majority of it is actually flowers. Now, I really chose it because of the second row, the one on the left, which is the little tulips. You'll see the difference between the size of images on this one and the next plate which is Pro Collection XL09. The majority of these images are either hearts, butterflies or stars. Honestly, I'll probably use all of the different images apart from the I Love You in the corner, so it's a really versatile plate. The next one is Pro Collection number 10. Now this one is a little bit of a pop art style. It's kind of got the Mickey Mouse designs, little ducks on it. It's got Marilyn Monroe, Bang, Pop, all different things that are associated with comics and stuff like that. The next one after that is Pro Collection XL number 13 and again this is another one that's got lots of flowers on it now my clients seem to choose a lot of flowers so it's perfect for that I particularly like the top right hand image just because you could do a lot of different designs like fades in the background of that the next one is Pro Collection XL and that's number 19 now I really like this design actually all of the designs on the plate just because it gives a sort of graphic sort of look to it. The one after that is actually Pro Collection XL number 20. I think this might actually be a newer plate. Now I really like the kind of style of this. It reminds me a little bit of like a 70s or 80s print. I like kind of like a little bit of Artex like ceiling designs. Just something that's repetitive and I really like that kind of look to the nail. After that we've got Pro Collection XL number 23. Now again this is another one that's got a lot of fine prints. Honestly the reason why I picked this one is for the second row, the third one in from the left, the sunflowers. I just thought that that would be really fun and something a little bit different that I've not really done on nails before. After that, that is all of the Pro Collection. Then I got one from the Bridal Collection, which is 07. Now, this is basically all kind of lace designs. I think that this would be really good as a full print across the nail, maybe with nude and then using black to actually stamp with. Or you could just use it just to do a print maybe on a corner or a portion of the nail. After that, I got one plate from the Explorer collection. It's number 10. Now, honestly, I only picked it for one of the images out of the full plate, and that is the one on the top right-hand side. So it's the full scene with the giraffe, the elephants, the hippos, the trees. I just thought that that would be really cool, but to be honest, I don't know whether I'd necessarily use any of the others. 
After that, we've got the Hipster Collection 07. Now, this was the one that I was really drawn to because I really like the little moustaches. I think they're really cute. The little bowler hats, I like those. And then on the bottom row, it's kind of got a little bit of a geometric sort of feel to it. I particularly like the fourth in from the left on the bottom row, the one that's got the little triangles on it because I think that that would be a really good for a print. And then if you wanted to, you could fill in some of the triangles so I just really like the overall effect that I think that that one will give I also like the one next to it so third in from the left as I think that that will be a really nice look uh, for the accent nail after that, I got one from the Sailor Collection, which is 07. Now, I particularly picked this for one particular design, if that sounds stupid. Now, it's the top row, and it's the fourth in from the left. So it's the one that's got the little seashells in and starfish. But I think that a lot of them will be really fun to do from that plate. Definitely in maybe blue and silver, something like that. The next plate is actually one that I really like and I'm, I know I'm going to favourite it, um, or favourite I should say. So it's the Princess Collection, it's number 14 and I honestly think I will use basically every one of those images. So from left to right, from the top, you've got stars, you've got ladybirds, you have got like a little clover print which I might not use but maybe then we've got little hearts little flowers jigsaw pieces and then on the bottom row it's got this swirl that's kind of done through tiny little dots it's got hearts that are overlapping some butterflies it's got little tiny gingerbread men i don't know if you can see it on camera but really cute and it's got the heart maybe i'll use that and then it's got a little mini print at the end and then the final plate was from the Kitty Collection. Now, this is number 11. Now, I love cats, so I had to get this one. But it has got, obviously, cats. It's got little birds on it, but it's got the cutest little bird cages. So I think you could make a really good scene out of it. It's also got little keys as well, which I do also find cute. So, that is all of my collection so far. I have done a blog post on it with some clear photos of each of the plates. The link is in the description bar for that. I do hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. My links to Twitter, Instagram, my blog and Facebook are all in the description bar. Please do come follow me on those and thank you so much for watching.